I need a little speaking on that record. Like when I first heard it, I knew it was gonna be either be him, Jeezy, mm. you know what I'm saying, or Gotti, you know what I'm saying, either either one of the three. But shit, like Dolphy kind of just reached out to him, so we was just like, he was just like, my pull up, man. Word. He like pull that shit up. So shit, we just went to work just like that. That's crazy. That's crazy. So I, I salute him because, like, it's the first motherfucker, like, is in this, like, upper, you know what I'm saying, that level to just reach down to me, like, come on, let me fuck with you. What a word, it's your boy, Sport the Black, checking in again on this young dog situation. Uh, a lot of the fans, especially the ones in Memphis, they really come in that money bag, yo, really just trying to figure out why he didn't, you know what I'm saying, take the consideration to pay respect to Young Dolph, considering the fact that Young Dolph was the first major artist to really show him love, you know, money bag, yo, had been rapping like five years, and he really never got a buzz outside of Memphis until Young Dolph jumped on his song, I Need a Plug, then they even did the video together. And then that song right there really helped push that mixtape off Federal Reloaded and really just helped Moneybag Yo get some buzz outside of Memphis. And then from that on, Moneybag Yo, you know what I'm saying, he eventually signed with Yo Gotti and CMG. He eventually blew up. So a lot of fans say just on the strength of that, you know, they felt like he should at least you know what I'm saying? Posting them on his page, something like that. Me personally, you know, I don't really get into why people post or don't post. You know what I'm saying? That's their prerogative. But, you know, I guess I, I kind of feel where the fans coming from due to the fact that, you know, Dolph really did help, you know, put money bag your own. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, you got to realize he signed to Yo Gotti. So if he go to posting Young Dolph on his wall, he might feel like, you know, that's kind of going against CMG, you know what I'm saying? Because everybody knows CMG and Paper Route got a long going beef. Dolph and Yo Gotti, they didn't, they they was like real opposition between each other. So that's probably why Money Bad Yo, he don't really want to choose sides. So he kind of just want to stay neutral. That's what I'm um, thinking. That's what it probably is. You know, but Buddy Bag, yo, he from South Memphis, Young Dolph from South Memphis, Young Dolph seen Bag on the come up trying to get, you know, get recognition. And then, you know, Dolph reached out and helped the brother up. You know what I'm saying? And um, that's what we need to see more, especially in the city of Memphis, man. It's a lot of beef in Memphis, man. A lot of, it's a lot of talent, but also a lot of beef. A lot of guys don't rock with each other. You know what I'm saying? So, you know. What y'all think about this situation? Do y'all think Bag should post Young Dolph, you know what I'm saying, just basically like just showing his paying respect, you know what I'm saying, or do you feel like people paying respect on Instagram is really overrated, you know, because after, you know, a couple months, you know, they forget about people, you know what I mean? Ain't nobody posts about Nipsey Hussle no more. Or some of these other rappers, you know what I'm saying? It, it, it lasts for a couple months, a couple weeks, and after that, it's over. Ain't nobody posting about King Von no more. You know what I'm saying? So maybe, you know, Bad just trying to wait till the dust settle, man. And maybe he called Dolph Old Lady, you know what I'm saying, in private and, and gave his condolences. I don't really know, but I just want to know how y'all feel about this situation right here. Y'all tap in, let me know if you're new to the channel, hit that sub button. I'm Sporty Black, I'm signing off. Go.